Welcome back to Franchise Hockey Manager. This is Club 2, Part 6. Are you guys over the last episode? Because I'm not. Welcome back to Franchise Hockey Manager then. So, after that last game, now, yeah, I had a look. Pull goalie, if we're down by one goal, normal. Pull goalie, if we're down by two goals, normal. Goalie switch, fast. I mean, that's going to go normal straight away. But yeah, there was absolutely no reason why Lampe should have come off and Selma could have come on. Um, so I did raise that as a bug, and I don't know what's happening there. So in today's episode, we have got the playoffs. We got the two games against the Medicine Hat. I think my plan for this playoff series is I think we're going to sim the first two games. Then if we're down by two, we'll probably cut to the third of both of them and see how they play out. If we're up by two, then well, we'll probably just sim to the third of the uh, final actual game and we'll watch the end of that one. But without further ado, let's get on with game number one. Game number one goes down as a win for us. A nice 5-2 win. We got Temple two goals and two assists. Nilsson got two assists and uh, Burlock got two assists. Game winning goal, Carl Temple. I'm going to miss him when he goes. He's been doing all right for us. And the ice time leader is Sotheran, who was our mid-season replacement. And again, I've mentioned this a couple of times, Reed Anderson, who was one of my players from my previous series with Medicine Hat. It's nice to see him coming up there. Anyway, with that done, let's move on to game two and see if we can continue our winning way still. All right, so welcome to the third period of the third game in this playoff series. Uh, a little bit of a change to the norm because, uh, well, we... Um, we swept them pretty quickly in the first two. I think it was like 4-1, 5-1. They literally got two goals in the two games. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to sit here. We will kind of watch out. We'll cut out kind of the bits where nothing interesting happens. So we're only really going to show you the interesting bits. And as you can see already, just by this, we've only got like two minutes left. Um, if we can get a goal in these last couple of minutes so we don't have to worry about overtime, that'll be... I swear I'm psychic sometimes. I can literally sometimes just ask for a goal and it arrives. The minute and 55 left, that should hopefully see us through. Burlock has it. Pass up to Kristonovic. we just got to go see out this remain a little bit of time. One goal buffer. We can take that one. That's nice. At 4-2 with a minute and a half to go, that should pretty much put the game away. As much as they want to try and get it back. And don't get me wrong, the way our team plays sometimes, yeah, that could definitely happen. Ullman has it into their... Third, we've got 36 seconds left. Alman again on the right wing. Goes in alone. Jones is sitting there at the end of the line. And I really don't know how we managed to get that one in. That looks like the goalie didn't even want to go for it. We done? We are done. There we go. So that is the first series done. 3-0 against the Medicine Hat Tigers. So, two interesting things here. One, the uh, click that was previously brought to my attention appears to have broken up. Now, it should help maintain a higher level of harmony on the team. Lovely. The other thing is, even though we have got the last three wins in the series, we still have to play the last game against Medicine Hat. It, it, I don't understand why. It's pointless. I mean, wow, they had like 40 points more than us in the season, but yeah, we... We don't we we don't need to play this. I might just put out all the use and just let them have fun. Okay, that was an interesting result. I completely flipped the line, so our fourth lines were the first lines, the second lines were the third lines, just to give those youth a bit of a good sort of chance to get some ice time. And they only won three nil. That's um that's worrying, Medicine Hat. That's very worrying. So I'm confused. Initially, there were four Medicine Hat games on the schedule. So we won three of them. We let them win the last one. There's now become another one. This now just appeared. I don't know why. Uh, is it, and I might need your help in the comment section on this one. Is it because it's a best of seven game series and why didn't they just put all seven games on? Why did they only do four and now they've just done one? Do I need to, I, I need to get the fourth, don't I? That That's gonna be it. I think I've just answered my own question. They put the four up, but now we need to get one more to win. Okay, we will uh, probably be back in the third, depending on how that goes. Okay, well, that's not good news. Um, yeah, that uh, that game wasn't brilliant, so uh, I haven't shown you that one. We did lose. Uh, however, yeah, Graham Jones avoided reporters after the team's game against Medicine Hat. Jones, who left after sustaining a concussion, 
grade two, could be overheard talking to teammates but offered no comments on his injury. Regina Doctors said in a statement that he is likely to miss three months. So yes, sorry Colorado, but I think I may possibly have just broken your player. Um, you can have him back if you want. Luckily though, we have managed to squeak a win past in the sixth game, four to two, and we have now finally taken the series. But it's not all good news. We've lost Chance. So the injury to Chance has been evaluated as a ruptured finger tendon, likely duration two to three months. Now the doctor has reported that treatment could be delayed until the season is over and he is willing to consider this. If you choose to let him continue playing, his poor performance will be affected. It will be greater risk of another injury and his recovery will not begin until the season is over. Now, we're in a rebuild. We, you know, we shouldn't be winning this anyway. So I think I'm just going to let him go and I'm going to let him recover. It's his last season. So we're just going to wish him well and we'll send him on his way. Just go, just go re recover and good luck in your career. Oh yeah, we've also lost uh, Cole Temple on a day to day. So we've just got the draw for the second series of games. Um, what I did notice is Medicine Hat were actually top of the league and we've just knocked them out. Left Bridge are fourth and they're only about 11 points in front of us. So in theory, it should be an easier series. Um, but what we're gonna do is just try to speed things along. We will come back at the end of every match and we'll see how we've been getting on. Game number one is out of the way. We did lose four to three, quite a high score in second period, but we couldn't quite get that fourth goal to tie things up. Brilliant, thanks Dustin. Your staff have informed you that Dustin Meager has been involved in an off-ice accident. The fans and even some of his teammates are clearly displeased and some rifts have appeared in the team. In particular, the following teammates have made their anger apparent. Sovereign, Hunter, Smith, Watson, Elaine and Root. Now Root isn't brilliant, but Sovereign, Smith and Watson, and even Elaine, they're doing all right. We really didn't need this in the playoffs. I don't know what he did. I don't think I'll ever find out, but that's really not gonna help us. Let's go on to game two. I don't know if we can blame the, uh, the incident for that, but we just got absolutely destroyed by the Hurricanes in that one. Three in the first, another two in the second, another one in the third, and we just couldn't do anything. Let's just forget that one ever happened. And the injury crisis that we seem to be experiencing is getting even worse. So I didn't show you this one, but, but Gillespie's been off. He had back soreness. He should be back any time now. Um, you knew about Temple with his sore ankle. You knew about the concussion and you knew about Chance. But now Calendar has just gone off with abdominal strain. Now Calendar is one of our defenders. As I've told you many times already in this series, defense is one of our weaknesses. We're now a couple of games down in the series and we've now lost another defender. Um, I have a feeling we're not going to win this series. So our next game was better, but still not able to get a win past Leftbridge. We were consistent. We got a goal every period, but they managed to get one in the second more than us, taking it four to three. Oh, and to make matters worse, uh, Pajo has been suspended for an incident. He's going to miss the next game. That will be the fourth game of the series. So it could well be that it is the last game of this season for us. Paiju is another defender, so not a position that we really wanted to lose a player. All right, well, there you have it. That is the end of our playoff dreams. We lose 4-0 in the series, 5-2 on the night. It was a game that, I mean, we didn't have any right win in, but we were close at times. They got an initial goal in the first, and then they got a second one pretty quickly in the second. However, we got a late one in the second. We got an early one in the third and it was 2-2. But then just in the last five to six minutes of the game, it all just fell apart. So yeah, that's our playoff dreams over for the year. And there we have it. The Leftbridge Hurricanes Regina series is over with Leftbridge emerging victorious. The game score, yeah, we pretty much don't, definitely don't want to talk about game two. Temple had a good game. Macaris had a very good game. I think we're gonna leave the episode there. I think next episode, we'll probably look at the drafts and then see about trying to rebuild the team for the year afterwards. That's if I don't get poached. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.